Hello everyone. Now, if you have checked out my Scary Beings video, uh, which I'll make a link right here, you should check it out because it really is a lot of fun and I worked hard on that. You'll see this right here. Here are some of the scariest mythical creatures from Central and South America. Now, you'll recognize that as Nardo, my avatar. And what I've done is I've actually animated it. And I'm actually in my back, in the back studio of uh, what is called Studio DID. It's, uh, for right now, it's, it's a free, you can get 20 credits free to work with. Um, and you can create, you can actually animate all of your videos or all of your images, however you want, up to a point. I think each rendering video costs one token. You get 20 tokens, so you can really play around with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through the process of creating a video. It's so simple. Um, and once you have the creation, it's actually really fun. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a video. And, you know, they give you all of these avatars here. What I did was I created my own. So if you're going to create your own um, image to animate, what you want to do is you want to make sure the image is front facing and that the face is not obscured anything so that you can actually see the movements and that the, that the software can make the image move in a way that's consistent with what you're saying. So I'm going to tap uh, Nardo here and what he have here is I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to create a simple script for him. Let's go ahead and do that. So what do we want Nardo to say? This is a fantastic video because I'm in it. I also am in the mode conjure up some more monsters to share. Ah, see, I've hit the 20 words limit. Um, Conjure up some more. Conjure some more monsters. So then we have this script. This is a fantastic video because I'm in it because Nardo tends to have a little bit of an ego about him, and that's fine. Um, then I'm also in the mood to conjure up some more monsters, which alludes to my upcoming, my future monster video, which I'm currently working on right now. Now, as far as how you want him to speak, let's see. Um, we have different languages here. We have uh, English, South American, we have different accents. Uh, let's try... Let's try South, um, South Africa, if I can. Yes, English, South Africa. And we can choose Leah or Luke. Alright. Then once we've got that continued, the text is fine. So once we have that, let's go ahead and generate the video and see what happens. So the video is going to be seven seconds long and it's going to take me one credit. Let's go ahead. Fantastic. And you'll get this message up here that says we've successfully generated your video and I do believe you actually get an email as well when you sign up so just in case you move to what you have something else that you then you moved away from the computer you'll get an email you'll probably get an email saying that we've generated a video for you let's go ahead and hear what Nardo sounds like with a South, South African English accent this is a fantastic video because I'm in it I also am in the mood to conjure some more monsters. I think that's cool. So, you know, basically you can go ahead and, you know, you can download, you can share, you can completely delete it. Just know that you don't get your token back. Video's been generated, so that token is gone. Um, and you can go ahead and recreate another video um, however you want it. It's a really cool feature. And if you find that it is something that can kind of give your presentation a little pep. Right now it's free for 20 tokens. You can play around it for a few and then come up with a voice that you like. Or you can even, hold on a second, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and just create another video. Or you can even upload a voice that you prefer. If you are already using an AI voice, 
and you've already come up with some text, go ahead and upload that. Um, it's really simple and I like it. I'm actually going to be using it for something else. But again, if you're going to create your own image within Leonardo AI, make sure that the image is front facing and that there's really nothing obscuring the face uh, too much. I've seen it actually happen where you know somebody made a an image with like a mask over it and it worked fine. But just make sure that your image is front facing. It's the one thing they kind of ask you to do. So go ahead, hopefully use something like this and have fun with it. It is something that I will definitely be doing a bit more of. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share.